All right, guys, it is leg day today. Um, second, le uh, it's actually the first leg day of the week, but I, uh, first major leg day of the week. I did a little bit of legs on Monday, kind of a feeder workout. I'm doing one feeder workout a week for legs. Feeder workout is kind of like just secondary stuff after your normal workout, which is shoulders, arms, whatever. So um, I just did some leg curls and leg extensions after. So just kind of helps keep reps in there. Um, so again, my show's in seven months and my prep's in four months. So I really have to push my legs right now. So um, I'm just trying to think because today I'm doing hamstrings focused. So um, I'm doing low bar squats. Um, I think I showed you guys the squat technique before. If you haven't, I'm going to show you what that is. Um, of course, low bar squats. You're going to set the bar on your rear delts and kind of mid traps. Um, so that way you, you lean forward a little bit. That way you can put more weight on and you drop the ass back. And just, again, I'll show you in just a second. Um, I'm doing four sets of three. Um, trying to work my way up to 315 because this is not a heavy exercise. Um, it's more isolation, but you're still putting enough weight on there for it to truly grow the thickness. Um, so um, I'm not doing leg extensions first like I usually do. Um, so I'll show you what I'm talking about here. But anyway, um, so this, again, this is a, I love this squat wrap because faces outwards instead of me looking in the mirror because when I squat I don't like to look in the mirror I like to face away because I can usually squat more weight when I'm looking up chest up and then squat down because um, if I look at myself in the mirror I, I get too like I'm not as focused for some reason that's just me um, but I, I, usually when I stare off into space I lift more weight so um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here Alright, so as you saw in that clip, um, so I'm taking the ass back, so I'm going low bar first thing as I set up the feet, so I'm pointing my feet outwards like this, so that way I can put my stomach in between my legs, and then I just squat down. So I'm going to ask you guys a question, what's the very first thing you do when you go to the bathroom, like on the toilet, when you're about to take a, you know, number two? You, you kick your ass back. Same thing here. Why would you change it? Same thing here. On every squat you do, you want to kick your ass back a little bit before you go down. Because a lot of people, what they do, they just go straight down. Now, I'm okay with that if you're doing strictly isolation like Smith Machine. But if you really want to increase your strength and power and get some thickness on your legs, kick that ass back. That way you can, you know, lift more weight. Um, that way you can squat more weight, which is, again, thickness of the muscle. Um, and then this squat here, like I said, is what power lifters typically do. This is a hamstring, adductor, and glutes type squat. It's no quads. You should not feel any quads in this squat. Um, so um, I'm going to show you guys again another clip of what I'm talking about, a side angle. Because the first side angle, I'm not sure if you can see it well. So this next clip I'll show you. I guess on that clip, um, I had him film my hamstrings on the other side. So you can see what I'm talking about. Get a side angle, because the front angle is not usually the best. So went to the side. As you saw, it's a really hard squat to do. Sorry, the, um, it's really hard exercise to do because you want that quick burst of movement in the squat. So um, again, this is why I want you guys to go lighter than you usually do on this squat. Um, usually I can load it four plates, no problem. But today it is more Focus on trying to make sure that range of motion is still there. Again, I said that in another video too. Have every workout now and then to where focus on that range of motion instead of trying to build muscle. 
Um, but again, we're trying to still build muscle, but again, more range of motion stuff. So what this does, since we're going low bar, we're coming all the way to the bottom, try to go really slow on the way down. So you wanna kick the ass back, feet pointed out, kick the ass back and just sit. Put the stomach in between your legs. And I'm, I'm telling you, you're gonna feel that hamstring drop at the bottom. As you saw in the video, you saw it working. Um, you should feel no quads at all. If you do, you're not doing it right. If anything, you should feel your inner quads just slightly, if not at all. Um, Cause what you wanna do is, since you put your stomach in between your legs, what that does is it takes the quads outside, like your knees outside. That's why I want you to put your feet out so your knees go outside. So your knees stop going forward and then your hamstrings drop down to where your knees don't go over your toes. So, um, cause anytime your knees go over your toes, it's more quads. So um, your knees should not go over your toes in this exercise. So um, again, this is a type of squat where I want you to go lighter cause you're not gonna be able to go as heavy. Um, it's a range of motion exercise. So, all right, here's another set. Alright guys, so I'm done with the squats. Do some leg extensions a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to some hack squat, or sorry, leg curls, not leg extensions, hamstring workout. Um, I'm gonna finish with some leg extensions though. Um, Cause my quads are gonna be fresh at the end of the workout, cause I'm not working them out today. So I'm just gonna hit them at the end. Um, so I'm gonna try something on hack, or after leg curls on the hack squat, we're gonna see if it'll work, cause it don't, it, Usually what I do sometimes, if it's the right machine, I like to face backwards on it. I've done it before at the Y. You know, if you scroll through my Instagram, you'll see me doing it. Um, it's a hamstring exercise, I'll show you. Um, and there's something on V-Squat I'm gonna show you later too. So, um, very different workout today than what I'm used to. So, um, so I'm gonna do some leg curls to kind of fatigue the hamstrings after they've been worked right here. And then we're gonna do some hack squat. So let's get into it. All right, so we just did some squats, so now, you're gonna see me jerk this a little bit on leg curls, but again, it's the second exercise of the workout. So we're gonna load the weight, so get, get right here. Throw the feet out. So, why do you guys want to be fragile and like take your time on this exercise, like slowly bring it up and down? I do that too, but like every now and then, like this is like towards the beginning of your workout, you can load the weight. So, um, and you can see Tom Platt doing leg curls, he was swinging that shit. And it's like because he was loading the weight and he had a spotter and he was fatiguing, it's really helped him on the end. So, uh, that's what we're gonna do here. So, we're gonna load the weight. It's okay to jerk it a little bit because I'm actually leaning forward more so the hamstring can stretch. So we're getting that extra load on the hamstrings. It's kind of like you're loading, you know, when you're swinging a baseball bat. Kind of the same principle. Get on the cord a little bit more. Get an extra Alright guys, so uh, this next set I'm gonna go Tom Platt style. Um, I'm gonna have my, uh, I'm gonna have somebody help me. So I'm gonna stack it, get like probably six or seven with full stack, and then have somebody spot me. I'm gonna quarter quarter rep it. So uh, I'm sure Tom Platt used to do this shit all the time. Um, of course, you guys know Tom Platt. He only trained legs twice a month, but he, his leg days are like four hours long. So. I just tell you right there, you really don't need to train legs every day or at three times a week, but it's just a preference thing. You can do three times a week, not as much effort, whatever you like, honestly. If you love leg day, just like for the intensity of it, do it like he did. 
Um, and trust me, your legs are still gonna grow. Um, but uh, but anyway, like, I'm not talking about Tom Platts. Now, um, so, but this time of the year, guys, when you're working out, you should take it easy on your workouts, like the t tempo wise, um, because you're eating more. You should be eating more food this time of year. So if you if you stay at 100% during your workouts this time of year, you're really not gonna grow much mass. You're just gonna put. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna say you're gonna get fat. But it's just you're gonna burn so many calories, and then all that extra food you're eating is not gonna use any good. So, I think I said this in a video before. Um, the very first of the month, when you like, let's say February 1st, go 70% for the first week or two, and then in the middle of February, kick up the intensity a little bit, and then the last week, go 100% and then restart. That way, you don't burn out. So you shouldn't be going 100% every workout. I know you want to, and it's good short term, but long you gotta think long term wise. Don't live in the moment, think about long-term. Um, Cause a lot of y'all work full-time jobs and everything like that, and then you do all this, you're gonna burn out quick. So take it easy on your workout, especially this time of year when you're eating more food. That way you can pack on more size. The food should just do it for you. Um, food is the best drug in the world, guys. So, all right. I don't wanna get in. I don't wanna get in. All right, guys, kind of like I was saying before, um, especially early in your workout, it's good to jerk the weight like that. It's totally fine. Don't be all precious and like just try to do it soft and slow. Again, that's also fine, but don't do it every single workout. Go leash off every now and then, you know, and jerk that shit. Because um, again, like I said before, as a previous example, it's like you're loading a baseball bat when you're up on the plate, swinging a baseball bat, loading that hamstring, and that leg, and releasing it. Same thing here. You're loading it into that little leg curl and just exploding out of it. Same principle. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna go with the five plates. It's the highest I'm gonna go, put four on there. Um, and honestly, it wasn't still that heavy, but um, again, I'm putting myself in a very weak position when I do this. So my, my um, only thing that's on the pad itself is my face. This part of my body is off the pad. Um, that way I'm kind of going down this way and going back up this way. So again, different angles is key to any type of muscle growth. So if you stick to just hack squat like this, squat like this, you know, leg curl like this, I mean, what makes you think they're gonna grow, right? So, unless you just have freakish genetics, um, which is rare. Um, but again, 
for me, I have decently ham, you know, decently gifted genetic hamstrings, but I still had to work my ass off for them. It's not like they're given to you. Um, but for this, I like this angle because I'm going up and down like this instead of just straight up and down. Um, so um, that's a really good angle because it's a very weak position for me, and it probably is for you too. And I said on my last shoulder day video, I think it was my overtraining video where I said, um, find your weak points and don't stick to your strong points. You know, obviously still do your strong points, but really work on your weak points. Um, that way you don't get injured. Because um, the second you go back to it and you go away from it for a while, you're gonna get hurt at some point. So um, so this is a very different angle for me because I'm going up and down like this. As you saw in the video, my hamstrings on my legs went down like this and I came back up like that because the way my body's off the pad. So um, again, different angles shocks your body and promotes growth. So. Alright guys, so someone's on the leg press right now, so I'm, I'm going to do some single leg curls until it's open. Um, but, uh, why do you guys focus on quads more than hamstrings? Let me tell you, don't. Um, bodybuilding, the way it's going right now, people are winning their shows by the back side of their body, not the front. Um, unless it's legit tied at the back. When it's two people on stage. When it's tied at the, uh, tight at the back then yeah who has got, who's got the better front but it's about having good hamstrings good lower lats um those are the muscles people don't really focus on and they should um because lower lats and rear delts triceps because the thing that people mostly worry about is quads upper chest um which is good and uh shoulders you know just the front because people don't, you can't really see the back unless you have a mirror you know a mirror facing a mirror you can really see it unless there's somebody filming you. Um, but the problem is people just don't do it because they can't see it right away. They look in the mirror, it's like, okay, I got a good chest and arms, that's all I need. Well, expect to get injured at some point. I know everybody's goal is not to be a bodybuilder or be a mass monster, but what you have to understand is you need to be proportioned in a healthy way. It's not just about looks. Um, for me, of course, I'm a bodybuilder. I try, I try to get as big as I can, but not too big. Um, but the thing is, you're gonna get hurt, expect to get hurt at some point if you just keep on focusing on arms and chest. Even those two muscles look good when they're big, but no one wants to look like a triangle. You don't want to have small ass legs and a big upper body. I was getting that way, I stopped it though. Now my legs are creeping up to my upper body, which is good. Um, so you just have to understand that um, bodybuilding is becoming of who's got the better lower back, who's got the better rear delts, the hamstrings, that's why C-Bum's winning every year in Classic, not just because, of course, he's got the best structure and he's the um, standard for Classic, but his hamstrings are just ridiculous. So it's just that because he focuses on them more than anything else. So it's like um, you just have to focus more on the back side of your body. Um, again, unless it's a strong point on your, let's say you have a good back and good hamstrings, back it off a little bit and then do more front. But I'm saying do the majority, focus more on the back side of your body. Trust me on that.